are a group of six senior civil engineers at Rice and the goal of our project was to reduce flooding in the Braes Bayou watershed and we came up with a, a suite of solutions in order to do this. So we have two systems of retaining walls, uh, three foot set in Maryland and five feet here in the TMC area. And we also developed a 29 acre detention basin in Maryland. Maryland homeowners this past year have flooded twice. So in order to alleviate flooding in the Maryland area, we want to do a detention pond, but buying out some of the homes that are most at risk for flooding. If you do a buyout, you're, you're taking those homes out, you're demolishing them so nobody is going to have to deal with the risk, and you're also alleviating that flooding throughout the bayou. So you're helping those homeowners and homeowners throughout, which is really why we chose to pursue that option. Also, we got to redesign a roadway bridge. There's a bridge that goes over the channel at Greenbrier Street, and it's currently a four-pier concrete girder bridge, and we wanted to not only improve it structurally, but also aesthetically. So we were the designers behind the new bridge at Greenbrier Street. It currently has two piers in the water, and one of our main aspects of our design was to remove those two piers. On our design, we wanted to remove those two middle piers in order to basically just like take obstructions out of the channel. Essentially, this was the culmination of four years of civil engineering work and design experience. Our project in general does a good job of embodying civil engineering at Rice because we're integrating both the structural and hydraulic aspects uh, into our project. I think it's so important that wherever you get your degree, you kind of learn how it impacts your com the community around you. Braised Bayou, obviously it's right here, right close to campus. We're all very familiar with it. Um, we've studied it in our classes. We know a lot about it. We've learned about the impacts of flooding. So I think from more of a scientific engineering perspective, it was a really interesting problem for us to look at. But also from a social perspective and from a community perspective, we knew that this is something that we could model the, the effects of it in real life um, that people who live here would be really interested in. Um, and I think that was a large part of our motivation for this project.